hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we'll be learning how to make this double layered gather skirt so guys as you've already known you'll be needing two different shades of african print um to make the skirt so i have two different shades here i have this brown and then i have this white and green also here so this is the one that is going to be on top and then this one will be under so for the brown i have one yard and for the white i have two yards so this is what we're going to be using to cut out the skirt so let's get started with the cutting so the measurements you will need to make this skirt is the full length of your skirt and then the measurement around your waist so i wanted to be able to explain it more easily so i went ahead to cut it out so i'll explain to you guys what it looks like so this is the one that is going to be under this white one you can see it's longer than this brown that is going to be on top but for the widths how wide they are from this end all the way to this end is exactly the same so the difference is basically on the length so for this one on top i have 11 inches here so by the time i'm done stitching it down to be around 10 inches and for this one under this is going to depend on how long your skirt is going to be i have 18 inches so by the time i'm done adding a band to the top it will end up being around 20 inches when i'm done so right now you can see that these two fabrics are actually in a fold so i'm going to open it up and take the measurements so that you guys will see how much you need for the gathers so this is the front piece right so let's go ahead and open it up and take the measurement so i have one yard two yards two yards and 33 inches so that's what i have up here and that is the same width i have on this other piece as well the only difference between the two of them like i said before is the length so now the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to pick one side and i'm going to go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to make a simple gather stitch when you're making a gather stitch you would not back stitch so guys i've made the stitch and i'm sure you can see the line because it's done here with white so i've done it for this one and for the other one as well so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is to pick one thread especially the one at the top and i'm just going to go ahead and start pulling on it to get my gathers and i'm going to do the same thing for the white piece you can see straight through my light oh there's something in my chest that i can't hide Feelings get involved, I'm terrified Cause I've so guys when you're through making the gathers you're going to take the measurement around this waist area here so what i have here is 26 inches which is just perfect my actual waist is 24 so that means that the extra two inches is going to serve as my allowance for the back so now i'll go ahead and do the same gathers for this other piece as well so guys i've done it for the both pieces and both of them right now are 26 inches so basically what you're going to do is when you've gathered it enough to get to your actual waist measurement you are going to add two inches to that so like i said earlier my actual waist measurement is 24 and what i have here after i was done with the gathers is 26 so right now i just placed the shorter one on top of the other one after i was done making the gathers for the both of them and i'm just basically pinning it down so that I'll go over to the sewing machine and stitch it down. So guys, I've stitched it down and look at what the inside is looking like. So this is just basically how it's looking right now. Everything is now secured and in place. So I've gone ahead to cut out my band. So I cut out my band as well with that same 26 inches and I've gone ahead to iron my stay to give it strength. So the measurement I have from here is 4 inches. So by the time I fold everything in, it will become 3 inches which is somehow become 1.5 inch as a band. So what I have here is 26 inches. That's what I have here as well. 
so basically i'll go ahead and turn the back of the skirt and i'm going to place the band from the back so i will just go ahead and secure the band in place and i'll go ahead and stitch it down So guys it's stitched down and this is what it looks like right now so from the back you can see how it looks neat now we're going to finish it up from the front so what i'm going to do is to fold it in like this by about half of an inch and use it to cover the stitching we have here like this so you can go ahead and pin this all the way to the end before you go over to the sewing machine for me i'm just going to pin it down a little bit because i would be able to do this even without pinning but definitely what you need to do is to just cover it up like this and go ahead and stitch it down so guys it's all stitched down and you can see how neatly it looks here in front and also if you turn into the back it looks really neat as well so now what is next is for us to go ahead and stitch this top here we're going to go ahead and stitch this area down fold it around so i'll do this all the way around so guys after i was done stitching it down here can you see i've stitched it down and it's looking really neat so i also went ahead to join the side of the skirt you remember the opening we have so i i went ahead to stitch it down leaving about seven inches at the top for me to be able to fix my zipper so basically what i have to go and do now is to fix the zipper to that side you can see how it looks already by just joining this part so i'll go ahead and fix the zipper to this end here i couldn't find any short zipper so i'm going to make use of this long one and then I'll go ahead and hem the end of the skirt and that'll basically be all for the skirt. So guys, I've done it all. I've fixed my zipper to the side. I've hemmed the end of the skirt and that is basically all for this really short tutorial. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be seeing you guys in my next one.